Hey guys, I just found something out that uh, I've been trying to get for a long time. Uh, it's something simple, but it's always kind of irritated me. I figured out how to make the status bar on the top of your iPod Touch or iPhone transparent. Um, I didn't figure this out myself. I actually got it from iPodTouchFans.com, the form from a some guy named let's see Mahmood I got it from Mahmood and so anyways guys as you can see there there's no status bar it's just my uh, my Wi-Fi receiver floating along with my time and my battery so I'm going to teach you guys how to do that first thing you're going to want to do is go into your Win SCP or Cyberduck, whatever you use to SSH into your iPod. And uh, all right, what you want, what you're gonna want to do is go all the way back. Then you're gonna want to go to System, Library, Core Services. Springboard app. Okay, now you're gonna want to change. You're gonna want to change three things. First thing is going to be uh, let's see this one. I already have mine changed, but what you're gonna want to do is uh, you're gonna go right click on it. And you're gonna t press rename, and you're gonna want it want to name it anything other than what it is right now. The reason why I kept the file here is because uh, just in case I ever want to go back, I know that it's here. So what you're gonna want to do is trick the computer into thinking it's not there by renaming it something else. So I just renamed it uh, default underscore bg1 because normally the file will be bg by itself no no one so um, after you rename it uh, default underscore bg1 you're gonna go down you're gonna go and find this one fso underscore bg and you're gonna rename it fso underscore bg1 again you right click just like normal and you click rename and you want to rename it what I have right there so that the computer doesn't recognize it or the iPod sorry the iPod doesn't recognize it then the last thing you're going to want to change is this one right here right here and again same same thing you're going to want to right click rename and just put a one at the end of it so that the uh, iPod doesn't recognize it. Once you've got that done, you can close out of your uh, your SSH client and go over to your iPod and let it focus. Then you're going to want to go to your winter board and respring. You guys know how to respring. Just tap something, untap it, and, and let it do its thing. So guys, that's pretty much it. Um, once it respring's, you'll see that the status bar disappears and, um, and uh, it'll show off your wallpaper a little better. Thanks for watching.